Hello guys, this is Alex Kolosko, photographer who helped other photographers to achieve their goals. And uh, today I'm going to review this uh, great uh, power pack with lights I got. It's battery powered. Elinchrome uh, Quadra Range RX. They call it hybrid. I'm not sure why hybrid, uh, but it's hybrid. <laughs> so, uh, let me just, you know, just kind of not unboxing, but just tell you what, what is in this box. You see the box nice black uh, travel box uh, similar like those pelicans uh, you'll see in a moment what's inside uh, where all these goods are stored and you know i was shooting with uh, at the beginning it was alien bees and white light and then i uh, used um, uh, einstein's policy buff stuff and you know i love this um, lights especially Einstein's because of uh, their combination of uh, features like constant call temperature mode and uh, action mode where it's uh, you know high speed photography is uh, possible and the price for 500 bucks you have mono light which you know does all that kind of uh, I would say high end stuff in terms of you know constant color temperature and um, uh, shorter speed duration or actually shorter speed duration so I tested Allen Chrome's before uh, I got some other uh, I think I got a power pack uh, Ranger RX maybe not Ranger well I don't remember exactly it's on 40G gear review and I got Monolite and I really love the build quality it's really it's especially comparing to policy buff it uh, it's completely different build quality. Everything is so precise, everything fit, uh, no loose stuff, you know, like uh, this attachment on the pulse bus stuff and um, soft box or whatever you attach uh, to the light, it kind of gets loosey and uh, well, all that stuff uh, which we hate and we love and pulse bus stuff. Because you see, I, I really love those lights talking about policy buff and uh, that's why I have a lot of stuff to hate in them okay I'm not going to cover everything uh, in, in my test but uh, I will do only things which uh, I'm interested in for this is, is flash duration really short flash duration I think it's the most uh, shortest flash duration on Elechrome lights you can get uh, up to 1 of 57 or 58 hundredth of a second or one of four thousand of a second with two lights, one of fifty-eight for a second with one light. I mean, with one head attached. So it's kind of really cool. It's T05, uh, T.5 time uh, measuring time, which is not as quite short. Well, number is nice, but if you uh, convert it to T.1, it's probably uh, will be all around uh, one of twenty-five hundred and uh, one of three thousand of a second one time but anyway it should be enough to freeze action so I'm a practical guy I'm interested in, in uh, you know in trying things in real life and I'm going to try this uh, on, on a liquid shot just simple some you know liquid uh, splashy shot and uh, we'll see how it works uh, it will be on part one on first part of this review on second part review I'm gonna compare head to head in exactly the same uh, shooting environment and subjects uh, Elinchrome Quadra RX Einstein and Broncolor Graphite A4 pack uh, with pulse heads it will be second part of this review and it will be released a little bit later okay so let's see uh, how uh, this box looks like inside right I'm not going to unbox it's already in unboxed but uh, we can see uh, of course uh, lots of little things uh, here like manuals we have a hand strap, we have all those nice areas to store all our things and uh, including the sky port, right? This little sky port is right here, uh, which attached to the camera, basically it's a transmitter, right? And uh, the pack has built-in receiver. So everything uh, really nice, cool, including this cord in this package. and. Uh, you see, it's uh, it's truly it's pelican-like type of uh, 
box and I really like it. For travel, and of course this pack is made for travel photographer mostly, because it's lightweight, uh, it's great. Okay guys, now uh, let's see how the thing works and what uh, is inside that box. So, you see, nice little, and it's not heavy at all, uh, unit considering that about one third of it is a battery, okay? This is battery and uh, there are two batteries, two batteries, in this box, okay? Comes into the, in the package. And to um, lock it from the battery is, there are two little knobs. You press them and you see this little things goes inside and unlock the pack. And there are five connectors. So it doesn't matter which way you connect, you shouldn't think about it, it just, you connect and it's strong, I am not able to accidentally, you know, uh, open it, if I, you know, hit or whatever, well, I didn't hit it much, but <laughs> uh, it looks quite uh, secure on the plates. There is uh, 20 amps, uh, the breaker, and... Uh, that's how it is. Two heads, right? Two heads and uh, that kind of, uh, it reminds me, you know, all those military connectors. So it's screwing connector, right? You connect it uh, thinking that it should be secure and it's quite secure. It almost uh, looks like waterproof. Of course, you're not going to, you know, put this thing underwater. And one way it goes like this and another way it goes to this head. And head itself is, is great. Head is just a little, very little head. And there is a way to open it. I will show you just removing this little protection cover. So the head is weight nothing. And it has that uh, flash bulb, of course. And what's great in it, it has LED, that huge LED, which cold, cold light, and I don't know, for me, uh, I'm still looking forward to see LEDs as a modern light for any studio equipment, for any, I mean, studio flashes, studio strobes, even AC powered. I understand that LED is probably a must now for all battery powered packs, right? Because what's the reason to, you know, to burn halogen lamps if uh, it eats 10 times more? electricity than LED. But imagine that you, if we'll have uh, LEDs uh, on all our modern light, especially while well, policy buff, <laughs> it's, uh, if you work with policy buff at uh, close to maximum power with honeycomb grids um, attachments or those, uh, you know, light mode attachments, I, I see, well, I still have burns on myself because I, I, yesterday I walked in the studio <laughs> with several policy buff at uh, uh, high modulin power. It was, I, I was needed uh, full power actually on modern light. So it's quite um, hot, I would say. And this is just great. It's just a great way to have modulin light. And uh, there is whole for umbrella, right? Without this cover, you can stick umbrella on it, uh, and uh, this go to any regular stand. Nothing new to this. Uh, I've got Quadra Hybrid A and uh, B heads, and this is the most fastest uh, in terms of flash duration heads, which is great. We're going to test it um, in a moment. How it will be able or not to freeze um, the splash, some nice you know liquids in a studio. But now let's turn uh, these guys on. Let me screw in this a little. It's a little bit easier to screw in this head, less turns than here, which is kind of good. And I'm gonna turn it in a moment. Let's put both heads inside. I still prefer clicks than this, but again, considering that this is for travel photographer, and uh, there is a uh, shoulder strap, right, for this, to have it on your shoulder or to hang it somewhere. Probably this connection is, is much more secure and, uh, well, it's, it's good to have it. So, turn it on. Uh, let's go through the controls. 
There are five, uh, I would say, menu options here. First is photo cell, then uh, the Skyport or on off, uh, you know, radio uh, receiver, then beep or not beep. Uh, when it's ready and fires, then slow charge to, to, to get uh, the maximum from each battery, uh, maximum shots, but uh, trade-off is just slower to charge, and then after shut off. Each, uh, each thing has a menu and sub-menu when, let's say, we go to menu, uh, let's say first, you see it's a C1 or CP1 or C0. Uh, which kind of not really, um, I didn't get it without reading the manual. And, well, nothing wrong with it, but uh, it's just me, uh, I read manual, uh, it's the last thing which uh, I open when I got any new product. First I kind of sit and uh, turn it on and start playing with buttons. And only if I couldn't figure out uh, how it works, uh, I open manual. So, of course, uh, it was really understandable C0 and C0, uh, C0 and C1 uh, on and off and then some other stuff like CP, I didn't know. So, uh, all this thing in, in manual and I'm not going to cover everything. But the coolest thing about uh, that uh, photo cell that it has very interesting feature. And this feature is uh, called anti-red uh, eye reduction thing. You see, it can be triggered by attaching skateboard to the camera, right? But other way to trigger it is just, you know, photo cell by, you know, firing the light. I mean, firing the other strobe. But imagine that you have uh, these two, it has only two heads and uh, you need three, three lights to shoot something on location. And third light can be uh, just uh, the camera flash, right? It can be hot shoe or just even built-in camera uh, flash. And like many of those camera flashes, uh, they have uh, red eye reduction mode, right? When it does pre-flash, and then uh, it fires uh, the real flash. So this thing is, can learn, you, there is a mode you can, can turn it on. So it will learn how many pre-flashes uh, your camera does before firing the real flash. And it will trigger those heads only for the real flash, not in pre-flash. So it's kind of cool, you can uh, walk with hot shoe or your camera uh, strobe uh, with this pack, triggering this pack on, on the distance. Uh, and uh, well, I'm not sure how many professional photographers will use that kind of uh, uh, red eye reduction thing, but uh, who knows? And it's cool to have. Uh, so we can turn it on or off, right? And same for every, I'm turning it now on C1, it will be on for the cell. And same for every, uh, every uh, menu, there is sub-menu where you can program it. Again, I'm not going to cover everything because I'm not really interested in uh, all the features. I'm a studio photographer, so I'm going to see how it's going to freeze uh, liquid splashes. Uh, let's uh, turn it on uh, the modeling light. You see the beauty? It's nice. It's, it's quite strong. Woo. Uh, modern lights. You see how they highlight the whole studio back there. Blue, but, and you see, they off. After turns on uh, modern light uh, to preserve power, but it's enough time, you know, to, to put your lights. And uh, then we can fire it. Uh, this is, let's put on full power, 6F stops, and fire it. So, about how much? I would say a little bit over a second, about two seconds. Yeah, about three seconds <laughs> uh, to charge uh, on full power. On rapid mode, there is uh, I turned it off uh, slow mode, and actually we can go and uh, turn on slow mode and see what will happen. So slow one on the menu, right? And now we fire, and it will take probably three times, maybe two times more longer, right? Yeah. 
and it's full battery we're good here and I'm going to turn off uh, this uh, slow charge so this is how it is and uh, there is not much I can add right now to this I just want to test it in the studio to see how it's going to freeze uh, some regular, I would say, splashes. And we're going to use some splashes with, you know, with different um, speed for, of, you know, flying droplets. So we can see uh, which it can freeze and what it cannot freeze. And like I said, on second uh, uh, part of this review, I will compare uh, those alien chromes with Einstein's and uh, with Broncolor to, to see in terms of uh, stopping power. Okay, of course, 400 uh, watt second pack uh, for two heads, it's, it's not much. Even the Einstein, which cost $500, this thing cost more than 2000 right? On F Einstein's, you're getting uh, 640 watt second of power. However, to free the action, of course, on Einstein's, you cannot use all of them because on uh, one of well on full power it's very long flash duration for Einstein's uh, it's about 170 watt second where you're getting uh, one of a thousand of um, T.1 uh, flash duration one for a thousand of a second and that's what useful range from zero from three watt second to 170 watt second at least for me in studio from Einstein's Let's see if uh, Alien Chromes will be able to freeze action on full power on all 400 watt second, which can be, well, maybe really cool if it can, or, you know, because usually with more power, we're getting longer flash duration. Not on all lights, but on lights like this, it's how it is, okay?